the Marina Bay Street circuit has changed, but what's different about it is who it was for. The changes are all in the area between turns 14 and what used to be turn 20. Now when you exit out of turn 14 and go through the kink of 15, you no longer go right then left through 16 and 17, then left and right through 18 and 19, then onward to the right, left and left, left of 20, 21, 22 and 23. You now just go straight to what used to be turn 20, but is now turn 16, then what is now turn 17, 18 and 19 are unchanged apart from the updated corner numbers. The Marina Bay Street Circuit has seen a few layout changes of four, more or less earned in the turns 10, 11 and 12 area, with turn 10 in the first few years of the circuit being the infamous Singapore Sling, which was removed ahead of 2013, and turns 11 and 12 being slightly altered a couple times in the track's history. Turn 10 will still be seen being called the Singapore Sling, but the chicaneness of the corner is no longer there and since 2013 it's been a mid to quickish left-hander. The previous changes to the 10, 11 and 12 area didn't really do much in terms of the wheel to wheel action, overtaking it still to this day remains more of the tricky order given it's a street track, but it did make turn 10 a possibility ability for a pass if you can get the run out of 9 and up the inside of 10 like Raikkonen did here on Hamilton. It's still not what you'd call a typical overtaking place. The changes to turn 10 did also save the teams a bit of cash and car parts because the Singapore sling was ooh infamous shall we say for causing a bit of damage to cars. <laughs> for the turn 10 changes, but what's the reason for the most recent raft of changes? The reason comes down to development in the area taking place, meaning they've had to change the layout. Whether they'll go back once it's done or no, I do not know. If there's any Singaporeans, if that's what you call yourselves, I don't know, watching this video and have an idea, then please drop a comment below. But what do I think of the latest changes? Well, it has potential. It opens up a potential overtake chance into turn 16 and also also opens up chances for continued battles from overtakes tried down the run between 13 and 14. You could be the car ahead and the car behind could send up the inside of 13 or get the switch back on the exit of the corner like Leclerc did to Gasly in 2018 there and they could get past you on the straight finishing it into 14 but then having a longer run out of that corner could now give you the chance to come back at them if you get the run out of the corner and try and move to get the position back into turn 60. May it possibly open open up a better chances into turn one. I mean, there's already chances into turn one, I know, but better chances. Sure, it might take away a period bit of that spectacularity of a qualifying lap. I don't even know if that's a word, but it is now. But if it can lead to some better racing and better battles in Singapore, not that we didn't have that before, we did, but you know, it, there's always room for improvement, could be worth it. Regardless, I think overtaking is still gonna remain more on the difficult side at Singapore, just because of the nature of it being a street track and overtaking tends to always be more on the difficult order as a street circuit. I mean, take Baku for example, earlier this year, it's a street circuit, it's pretty wide in most of it, but there was still only around about like 20, 23 overtakes or something like that. But either way, I think the changes might bring a slight change to the racing, as I said, it gives potential for a new overtaking opportunity if you can get the run. Might take away a bit of that spectacularity of qualifying, but a lot of the spectacularity will remain. And as for how it will really, if it will really affect the racing, well, we'll just have to wait and see. Uh, but while we're on about street tracks, I saw this on Twitter the other day. A rumour of an F1 race on the streets of Athens doing in Greece. Now, I love a street circuit, but no, F1 does not need another street track. We already have Saudi, Monaco, Baku, Singapore, Vegas, Australia. Australia is kind of street circuit. Uh, there's rumours of a Madrid street track. We do not need another. Formula E though, and that's another topic. I think it could work. What do you think of the, the Singapore Grand Prix track changes? Let me get in your thoughts. Do it in the comments below. Drop a like if you enjoyed the video. Subscribe if you're new around here. Thank you all so much for watching. And I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.